to tie in with us is that the Elwha is a salmon producing river, certainly used to be and is becoming again with the dismantling of the two dams. Uh, John has a degree in photography and started as a photojournalist for a Bay Area newspaper in 1973. In 82, he began a freelance career in Seattle, specializing in architecture. He expanded his expertise into multimedia and web development, and is best known for landscapes and time-lapse images. After 32 years of hiking, camping, fishing, and filming the beautiful Olympic Peninsula, when removal of the Elwha dams was scheduled in early 2010, he saw the opportunity to document this once-in-a-lifetime event. Gusman began work on Return of the River, a self-funded film to document the Elwha River restoration project long before the demoli demolition of the first dams began in September 2011. Jessica Plum, producer, writer, and lead editor, brings out the relationships between people and the places they call home. She moved to the Olympic Peninsula a decade ago after starting her career in Boston and Beijing. She has worked on documentaries and films, screened at festivals as editor and has a university and master's, uh, oh wait a minute, and has created award-winning short films best described as video poetry. Uh, she holds a BA from Yale and a master's from Goddard College and studied documentary film at 911 Media in Seattle and the New School University in New York. And with this, they will introduce us to Return of the River, and that is a pretty exciting prospect. Hi. Uh, first question, how many people have been to the Elwha Valley? All right, lots. Very cool. Well, as you all know what's going on there, uh, largest dam removal in the United States history, and uh, quite an exciting project. I got involved about three years ago um, because I spent so much time in the Elwha. It's a very special place to me. And I decided when this started to kick into gear that I was going to do a documentary. Uh, I felt like I was at the right place at the right time. And uh, I'm very passionate about the, the subject and the location. So um, I've just been pretty much doing it since then. I kind of quit my commercial photography just to spend most of my time doing this filming. Uh, in the process, it's been uh, an amazing uh, experience for me to learn about everything that's been going on to make this happen, uh, starting many decades ago, and working with a lot of the people and the scientists that uh, are also very passionate about this, this uh, process. And another reason I like it is because, to me, this is a, uh, a shining light in a, in a dark tunnel of environmental uh, disasters that we're all familiar with and um, so the idea of this film hopefully is to get it out there to the public and as much as we can and uh, spread the word you know maybe this is gonna keep going that's the that's the plan so um, uh, even though I only live 30 miles from the river I've actually logged over 10,000 miles already in three years just going back and forth and filming and doing different things but uh, it's been great. It's been one of the greatest experiences. So, uh, and then about a year ago, I hooked up with Jessica, who is a wonderful editor and producer, and uh, I call her my magic word fairy, because she's such a great writer, and uh, I'll let her kind of explain the rest of it. Thanks. Well, first of all, I should say we really owe a debt of gratitude to John, who really has been the eyes of the Elwha project and done so uh, largely on a volunteer basis for about three years. It's an incredible record of material that he has gathered from this project. It's really exciting to see so many of you here who care not only about whales, but about Washington's waters and waterways. And I want to thank the last speaker, Steve, from Earth Justice, who so clearly in pictures and words drew the relationship between whales rivers, and salmon. And we know we're speaking to an audience of people here who know a lot about science. I want to come back to the fact that we're working on a feature-length documentary film, and what we've chosen to share with you today is a sneak peek. It is a little bit of work in progress, 10 minutes, 
share some of the intro of our film, but also knowing your interest and expertise, we've also decided to jump ahead to some scenes that focus on the fish biologists who um, have a role in the movie. The movie is told by an ensemble cast, a range of voices from many different perspectives uh, on the Elwha River's restoration story. I'm curious, I was th thrilled to see how many of you have actually been to the Elwha. I'm guessing many of you have been following the story of this restoration. Raise a hand if you've been following this story closely. Then a lot of this won't be news to you. As you know, history is being made on the Olympic Peninsula right now. This is something that the world is watching, and we know that. We run into camera crews from around the world out on the Elwha River on the peninsula all the time. So with that said, we'd love to share this 10-minute sample of work in progress with you. We'll take questions afterwards. And we also invite you, if you'd like to stay in touch, to either go to our website or to jot down your email address and your name on the clipboard that's uh, next to the poster down in front of the stage right here. So enjoy. And we're so thrilled to share this little sample with you of the work we've been working passionately on for over a year now. <laughs> 